Ludwig van Beethoven. Ludwig van Beethoven is a German. When he was young, he liked hearing his musician grandfather play music. He liked to play the piano. His grandfather was pleased with him. But his grandfather died when Beethoven was three. Beethoven continued to play the piano on his own. One day, his father, who was in a choir, was surprised to hear Beethoven play beautiful music. Since then, his father made an effort to coach Beethoven in playing the piano. His father was an alcoholic. He wanted to get rich fast through Beethoven's piano performance. He often beat Beethoven for being slow in learning. These beatings did not deter Beethoven. He learned fast and played very well. One day, his father's friend, who was in the orchestra, visited them. He was surprised by the beautiful music played by Beethoven. He called him a child prodigy. A concert was held for him. Beethoven, who was then seven years old, won many applauses from the audience. Since then, his father engaged many top teachers for serious teachings. Beethoven made tremendous progress with hard work and a big desire to succeed. Beethoven began his composing career after learning from a top composer. At age 14, Beethoven began to teach music and conduct in an orchestra. At 17, he left his hometown to go to Vienna to learn composing for Mozart, the great composer at that time.
One day, Mozart had many visitors. Mozart took some parts from his old and new music and asked Beethoven to merge them to create a new piece of music. By the time Beethoven played the new music piece, all the visitors were amazed with his performance. Mozart proudly said that Beethoven would be a great musician one day. He welcomed Beethoven's visit as often as he wanted. Since then, Beethoven's composing improved over time. He composed many more music. At 28, Beethoven began to turn deaf. The echoing sounds in his ears irritated the composing process. This devastated him. Before then, he was able to appreciate the sweet sounds of nature. After that, he began to hear nothing. At the theater, he needed to be at the front seat to hear the singing. Though his hearing got worse, his composing did not deteriorate. He continued to compose wonderful music. When he played his music on stage, he no longer heard the clapping sounds and applauses. He became totally deaf. But he continued to compose many famous music and became the great composer of all time.